Hello everyone, welcome to Kendingal. Our today goal is to carry out time varying load simulation in short graphs. We will learn how to apply time varying loads and how to have a stress plot at different different time steps. Beside this, you will also learn how uh, to plot uh, time step plot for stresses at different nodes and in the last you will learn how to have a time step plot for deformations at different nodes. So keep in touch till end of this video. First of all open this 3D model of a bar. Bar has a length of 50 millimeter and width is 18 millimeter while thickness of bar is 2 millimeter. And after that, from SOLIDWORX add-ins, go to simulations and load SOLIDWORX simulation professional. Wait until its tab appears here. So simulation tab has been appeared here. Click on simulations and make a new study. and select study type this is the nonlinear oh nonlinear is not activated from add-ins go to solidworks simulations and load solidworks simulation premium again simulation tab make a new study You can see nonlinear module is activated here. Click nonlinear. Give its name. It's a time varying time varying load simulation. So after that, first of all, we will assign material to this bar. Right click on the part, go to apply edit material and the material is AISI 1035SS. That one. Click apply and close this tab. So, we have assigned material to this part 1035st and from fixtures now we will apply solid versus boundary conditions like fixtures and loads before that we'll click on the time value load simulation right click go properties and uh, define your end time let's suppose we end time of this simulation is 5 seconds here is the auto time automatic time spent stepping on ok now fixtures fixed geometry and select fixed geometry options and select this left face of a bar so we have applied uh, fixed boundary conditions on this face of a bar And from external loads, click force and here we select this edge. And uh, select uh, directions instead of normal and now define a reference plane. This is the front and from force, no, it would be in this directions, in vertical directions, no, yes, you can see load is applied in vertical directions but change the reverse direction, 
and change units to English. Can apply the loads. You can uh, keep it in as a units. Apply loads to ten newton. From symbols, you can increase the size of yes. So we applied force of ten newton on this edge in z directions, z negative directions. But we want to define our time varying loads, so we will change this. Right click, edit definitions. Here is the option variation with time. There are two options: linear and curvature. Curve. So click on curve. Edit. So you can see. This is the time, axis time, and y is the load factor. Let's suppose for one second, its load factor is ten. It means if at the, from zero to one second, a uh, ramp load was applied of hundred newton. Ten is the factor. Ten is the magnitude of the loads, while this ten is the factor. Enter. Double click this. So for four second, again define factor ten, and for last second, then zero. So we have defined that. Time varying loads in this in this way. You can see at zero second there should be no loads, and in one second there should be a hundred newton loads from one second to four second, and after that load will be decreased to zero at five second. Now run our simulation and wait until solution completes. If you have any query, just ask in your comments of this video, and also subscribe Cadingle for more SolidWorks simulations. So our simulations has been completed. Now we will evaluate stresses, deformations. And time history plots of stresses, and also for displacement. Go to stress. Right click, edit definitions. Change units to megapascal. So you can see at the end of five second, the maximum stress is 24 megapascal that occurs at fixed point. Just click on these arrows. We will see. You will see that time changes. So this is the plot for 4.68 seconds, and for this stress value is 125 megapascal. And for uh, 4.3 seconds, stress value 250 megapascal, and uh, 4.125 stress value is 285 megapascal. Similarly, you can see variations from one to four seconds. Stress value remains same because. Uh, in time varying loads, we apply a fixed load for a uh, for hundred newton from one second to four second. That is why our stress remains constant during this time span. 
as we go down below one second our stresses are decreasing so how can we plot uh, time history plot for stress just go to results and uh, define time history plot you can define stresses at different nodes so just uh, click a node at this tip and and this no and uh, let's pause on this tip and center of the because stressor is uh, maximum at fixed part so we have selected three nodes at uh, fixed band and we have selected two nodes so we will evaluate stresses at these five nodes and for full time mean from 0 second to 5 second so this is a stress time history plot you can see uh, stresses on ends nodes is very very low as compared to stresses at the uh, start ends and at fixed end nodes and uh, almost stresses at fixed O end nodes is same so these are node numbers node 1 node 2 these are the fixed end nodes while the node uh, say, 6 and uh, node 15 nodes so are node 194 and uh, node 6 are free ends nodes so in this way we have uh, plotted time history plot similarly again from time history plot we will check the deformation at uh, free ends define time history plot again and from y axis select uh, displacement this resultant displacement and select uh, this node these three nodes node 8 node 6 and node 193 and this is the node number 1 at fixed end where node 8 6 and 193 are at free ends we can see for node 1 there are no deformations at fixed end and for node 6 8 and 193 deformation remains same and its maximum for 1 second to 4 second and its maximum deformation is about 1.6 millimeter so we have evaluated deformations at ends using time history plot I hope you. I hope you enjoyed this simulations, non-linear structural analysis simulations of a bar. That was the time varying nodes. Please subscribe, Kadingal, and also give your comments about this tutorial, this video. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye.